From the campus studios of Saarland University, this is Ropecast, a lighthearted podcast for learners of English, with Roger Charlton and Peter Tischer. Hello, all you Ropecast listeners, and hi, Roger. Hello, Peter. Roger, I'll go right straight into the subject. You know what gets to me? What's that? A lot of products, when they change countries, they change names. That's and right. From the English speaking world to the German world or back. Yes. For example, cars. I think there's very often a good reason for this. The market researchers find reasons for this. Uh huh. You know, I'm a VW driver. Okay. I, I've driven a Volkswagen for years. Mm -hmm. And I noticed that when they produced a car in Germany that they called the Derby or Derby. Uh huh. Okay. That did not sell well in Britain. Why is that? Well, British people think of Darby and Joan as the archetypal old couple. Oh. You know, not just retired, but old. So this is not the car from for the young, dynamic family. Not at all. Which it is supposed to be. No. So what did they do about it? Did they stick to the name and just sit it out? Well, they call it a polo. Okay, so even the trunk version is a polo That's right. over there yeah. now. Okay, okay. I, I got a similar one for you, though. What's that? That's, uh, again, a VW car. Yes. Which, when it first came out in the U.S., was called the Rabbit and not the Golf. Yes. And what's even more interesting is second generation, they changed the name to Golf, just as in Germany, and stuck to that until the fourth generation of that car, and the current version of the Golf is going back to Rabbit. So what do Americans think of when they see the name rabbit? Rabbit, I guess, is a pretty quick animal, pretty smart. They may think of, of Bugs Bunny, of course. It's a hare, actually. Yeah. H-A-R-E, hare. Right. But I think, well, it's a witty, nice, quick animal. And what's wrong with golf for Americans? Golf is a game. Well, on the one hand, golf is not an as ex an exclusive game as it would be in Germany. Yeah. But I think the foremost reason would be that Germans think of the wind, the Gulf Stream. Ah, G U L F. Right. And in German that G U L F Gulf Stream, the English Gulf Stream is Golf Strom. Right. And they name their cars after winds all the time. For I mean, time. like um, Passat? Passat is a wind. Yes. Scirocco, you know, the sports car. Right. That's a wind. So golf is, on the one hand, a fast-going wind, fast-going car, and a golf. Golf is a very exclusive game, so you're yeah. not driving a cheap car. Which reminds me, talking about prestige, yeah. the most prestigious car mark in Britain for a long time has been... Rolls-Royce. Rolls-Royce. Yeah, for, for everybody. Right. Oh, give me a break. This is <laughs> the luxury car still. But they made a really big mistake. Back uh -huh. between the two world wars, uh -huh. they had a wonderful car, right. which they tried to market in Germany as well, right. under the name Silver Mist. Ooh. <laughs> and I guess at the time, there weren't that many people who knew that mist is a kind of fog. You know, they weren't speaking English as much True, at the time. Yes. So but, they thought of the German word. Oh, my God. So it's a, a silver rubbish. <laughs> 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 not, not a good name for an expensive car, I no. guess. <laughs> and do you know what happened to General Motors? No. Nah. They had a neat little car, Yeah. and they gave it a neat little name, the Nova. Nova. Like and then they new, wondered yeah. why it didn't sell in Spain. In Spain. You know some Spanish, don't you? Well, oh, I get it. I get it. When you, when you take it apart, it, it says no va. It, right. And it, that means it doesn't go. It doesn't yeah, work. It doesn't, it doesn't work. It doesn't run. Pretty disastrous for a ooh, car name. Ooh, whoa. And, and I'm, I'm pretty sure they renamed that one, too. I think they did. Okay. Although maybe we could we should call in some other people from, from Spain or from Italy to ask about those questions. I am only really familiar with the German. Right. We'll do that some other time. Let's do it. Okay, but bye for now, Roger. Bye, Peter. See you next time, and see you next time, everybody out there in podcast land. You've been listening to Ropecast, brought to you by Saarland University, featuring Roger Charlton and Peter Tischer. Tune in for the next edifying episode on your podcast dial.